Hello everyone, welcome everybody. We're back here at Elder Scrolls Online once again. Today we're heading over to uh, Voss. Another city here that needs our help. All I ask. Lane and Menwendel must have a plan to save this place. You mean to spend some time in Voss? I wouldn't linger if I were you. You don't have scales or fur, so you should be safe for a time. But if Savarek and his lackeys smell a whiff of danger on you, they'll put a knife in your back by supper time. The new wizard magistrate. When Mistress Dratha fell ill, House Telvani put Savarak in charge of Vas. It was all hunting orchids for a time, but not anymore. The people are desperate for Dratha to return. I'm beginning to lose hope. Openly, no. Some work against him in secret, but he sicks his black snail mercenaries on anyone who opposes him publicly. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. He covets Telmora Tower, but until Dratha dies, he holds court in the Gathering House. Keep your wits around Savarak. He's slippery as a slaughterfish, and twice as deadly. He's a member of House Telvani, like Mistress Dratha. Mistress Dratha is powerful, but reclusive. Savarak's a little more ambitious. Technically, yes. Luckily, Mistress Dratha's mouth, Lane Sadri, has been working against him in secret. We're lucky to have her. Savarak can sniff out a conspiracy like a Nixox sniffs out truffles. Without Lane, we'd probably be dead already. She's one of the oldest, most powerful Telvanni counselors and a ruler of nearby Telmora, the great fungal tower just across the river. She ruled Voss and lands beyond until she fell ill. Some people think it's just old age. I'm not so sure. A thousand times yes. Our mistress has a mixed reputation. Outsiders often say she is cold and calculating. That may be, but I don't mind. She cares for us from a distance, intervening only when necessary. She respects our freedom. We pray for her recovery every day. If Dratha dies, I fear that Voss will die with her. Alright, it sounds like honestly a case of poisoning already. Would not surprise me if I'm right. Voss seems quaint so far though. Well I lost hope. What is oh it's another four glory class. Well, we got an Orgonian sweeping the floors or mopping the floors or whatever. I do hope you'll forgive my candor, but I must ask, what brings a bumbling outlander to my gathering house? Do you fancy yourself a Telvani mage? No, I think not. You may take your leave immediately. Ah, I see the Noir is well informed. If you know that I am Savarak, you must also know that I rule Voss as its wizard magistrate. Do you bring me some petition, or is this just a social visit? Have a care how you speak, Outlander. It is true that certain of Voss's citizens have struggled during this period of transition, but I'm hardly to blame. They've taken Dratha's illness very hard. It's led to idleness and crude insubordination. Someone has to. Dratha's mouth, Lane Sardry, refuses to assist me. She just lurks by her mistress's bedside in Telmora, scheming and fomenting unrest. People in crisis require a firm hand. If that offends your gentle sensibilities, move on. Well, this guy turned out to be, like, completely an asshole right off the bat, so... I guess it's time to go talk to, uh, the mouth, I think they're calling her? <coughs> Let's see here. I guess it's this tower we're looking for over here. <coughs> Wish I wasn't coughing so much. I seem to be saying that quite a lot these days. Oh, I could probably put in another potion here, or whatever you call it. 
background fortifying me, I guess. They run out eventually, but I definitely have plenty. I never say I don't. Honestly, I'd rather get the meals than get the potions at this point, I think. Tooth when Thalic tried to open a portal to Oblivion. <laughs> Alright, this is the Telmor Tower. Honestly, this is the, the second to last place I know of so far in our, our mapping, because uh, beyond this, I know of Cedric Moor, and I guess Vivic City is a spot that we have to... Oh, didn't mean to do that. But Vivic City is also a spot that's not filled out properly yet. But I think it might be uh, that to do with the main quest, but regardless, I still have quite a few places I need to figure out where they are, like Tel Roranth, Aldr Aldron. I know where the Veloth Ancestral Tomb is, so particularly, I guess, the, the two I named off are the ones I don't know where they are at the moment. I'm uh, sure I could probably figure out where they are. Let's float, yes. I'll check in on her again in the morning. For now, just get some rest, eh? You look awful. Yes, thank you, Mum Wendell. And please let me know straight away if you make any progress on the cure. Of course. And I meant what I said. Sleep, Lenny. Yes, yes. And who might you be? It takes some pluck to enter a Telvani tower uninvited. Impressive. I'm Lane Sadri, mouth to the glorious Mistress Drotha. What is it you want, Outlander? The situation? The catastrophe, more like. Savarak and his black snail mercenaries are strangling the life out of that town. Hmm. I do what I can, but Savarak has the support of the Council. My hands are firmly tied. You, on the other hand... Savarak won the support of the Council shortly after my mistress fell ill. I've always known him to be clever and enterprising, but all this wealth and muscle... That's new. Despots rule with swords and coin. Savarak has an abundance of both. I don't, but I think we can find some answers in Savarak's manse. <coughs> He's turned the old Berano house into a palace. And a fortress. If you break in and find some evidence of corruption, I might be able to turn the council against him. This can't possibly be the first time someone's asked you to snoop through a wizard's manse. Just look for anything that seems out of place. Official documents often provide clues on this sort of thing. That is too. You'll know it when you see it. I wish I knew. Our resident herbalist, Men Wendell, has been developing on a variety of cures. She's capable, brilliant even, but my confidence wanes. We know the illness deadens the mind and causes rigors in the limbs, but beyond that, we're stumped. Hmm, okay. Portator and incarnate must rise. I have to prepare. I have to... Hmm. Alrighty then. Very curious indeed. Okay, we can't get anything from there. Time to go sneak it around somebody's wizard spot. It's true, this isn't the first time we've had to do that. What is it? Yeah, things aren't going particularly well around here, it seems like. Tolor's house. should be fairly close to it now, I think. It's some sort of house. Okay, it's over here. <clears throat> Alright, well, trust pass, why not?
Nothing worthwhile there. Oh, there's somebody down there. Sure, let's go ahead and just like use our blade of woe. Why not? They're gonna make it that easy, right? <laughs> And another one down. Attention, Black Snail. Shipments and correspondences arrive on the tide. All outgoing freight, crew, and mail must be present and counted on Silva Island one hour prior to tide's, tide's ebb. No exceptions. Direct any questions or complaints to your direct superior, Captain Nizamal. Let's see if we can catch somebody else unaware. Rylos, no Rolanda's request a meeting. Usually I would send Nizamal, but a case of gout has rendered him useless. Given that you are his deputy, the task falls to you. Make haste to the wharf east of town and find out what troubles our friend. No one does ins insist on total secrecy, so you must use a f passphrase. You will approach him and say, the cliff racers take wing. To which he will reply, its stench remains. I need to remind you to that the situation remains peerless as long as Stratha lives. Do not fear me. It's fail me. Silverak. Okay. Shoot. Okay. <clears throat> you guys back over there, I could probably just go ahead and kill him. That's good enough. <laughs> it's been a while since we've gotten to do this. So Dura Severak, the coin barons of House Hollow are pleased with your progress, but there's much left undone. Encloses a letter of credit that should keep you well funded for now. One matter of consultation persists, Drotha's health. So long as that witch draws breath, our plans remain stimid stimmied. Your kinsmen and House Tavani lack the Hollow's attention to detail, but even the most foolish mage cannot be tricked forever. We must redouble our efforts. Do your part and all accounts will be paid. House Hollow shall welcome you, and tell more will be yours to rule. <coughs> Yeah, I'd say that's a decent amount of evidence. <laughs> I assume that nobody's responding here. Yeah, okay. Managed to do it without getting detected, and no bounty. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Can't often say that. <clears throat> Alright, let's find out what's going on here now that we have the evidence. They're probably going to tell us to go to that wharf they were talking about, I imagine. You're back? I admit I didn't expect you to return. Forgive me. It's hard to know who to trust these days. It seems you actually do mean to help us. Did you find anything? Honestly, what kind of idiot leaves this many documents lying about? Still nothing about my mistress's illness. Damn. Well, what do we know? How Salalu is bankrolling Savarak's operation. His wealth and mercenaries arrive via Selville Island. Right. With someone named Narandas, yes? The Halalu's hatchet man here in Voss, no doubt. If they are using passphrases, they must not know each other by name or by face. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Exactly. Find Narandas near the wharf and use this passphrase. 
I'll have the few house guards still loyal to Mistress Strother make sure no one approaches. We don't want the real contact to muck things up. Learn what you can, then make a swift exit. All right, let's go ahead and go to this meeting then. Hopefully, we'll find out what the illness is. <clears throat> oh, I guess it isn't that far away, huh? Okay. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It's about fetching time. Well, but the stench remains. Tempani servants. Late. Always late. Our plot to kill Dratha proceeds at a snail's pace. I blame myself, in part. Tell Mora's fungal growth has proven to be more resilient to the toxin than I expected. Of course we are. To release lethal spores. What moon sugar cart did they drag you out of? I'm near to finishing the new toxin, but I need to know the current status of the infection. Examine the deceased nodule at the tower's base and report back. Alright, so it's not that she has a full-on illness that needs to be taken care of. The entire mushroom itself has an illness that's poisoning. And would assumably be poisoning everybody inside eventually. Do I? I guess I have to go from it from the outside, yeah. <coughs> Oh, do I have to go around? If it was inside, it would have shown me the inside symbol, so it has to definitely be outside. It's over this way. <coughs> Oh. All right, I guess it's this. Oh, man, like, like the growth. All right, so I guess we're not going to bother talking to that guy again, or at least not for now. Oh, that was a good jump. Like, sideways jump. <laughs> oh, I guess we have to go up again. still have your head on your shoulders, so it can't have gone all that poorly. Did you manage to learn anything? What? Those fetching bastards! The answer was right here the whole time. Mistress, forgive me. Look, I'm no slouch when it comes to magic, but fungal infections are well outside my area of expertise. You'll have to find Men Wendell, our herbalist. She established a small nursery beside the tower. With any luck, she'll be there. If not, ask her assistant, Grace Guys. Please don't dawdle. I'm not sure how much longer my mistress can hold on. I'll contact the Telvani Council immediately. I'm sure they'll love to hear about Savarek's tawdry affair with those gold pinchers in House Halava. If I know the Council, and I do, Savarek will be feeding the shroom beetles by week's end. Indeed, the citizens of Bos will be free to go about their lives in peace. Although for Vos to truly flourish, we must also restore my mistress Drothel to proper health. From the looks of things, she doesn't have much time. Alright. Let's try and make things make things work then. Here we are. Very nice. Ooh, this actually looks really nice.
Let's see if we can find out where they are in any case. Is someone there? Please help me. Down here. Something going on? Oh, we got a tome here. It's you. Hissed be praised. Savarik set those black snail thugs on us. A half dozen of them. I tried to. Sorry, just let me catch my breath. They took her. She didn't make it easy. Bit one of their ears off and broke a flask over another one's face. But in the end, they were just too much for her. The leader kept shouting not to kill her. Said someone named Narandas needed her alive. I heard one of them mention a hideout along the coast. There are a few old pirate dens south of here. Maybe they've claimed one. Then Wendell knows more about the fungal towers than anyone. Hist only knows what they have planned for her. Hmm, they probably want to use her to, like, make the fungal infection more aggressive or something. Make it faster. Looks like it's this way we're heading. I wouldn't mind a shroom beetle pet. <laughs> oh, we got some notes. So she was making a trail. Very smart. Very smart indeed. Hi there. Okay, so I guess these assassins are hanging out about here, huh? We must be getting quite close to them. Thankfully they seem to be all weak because they're assassins, I guess. Inside of here, perhaps? Well, that was a bit of interesting trivia that that loading screen had. Black snails are big omens, I guess, in Dark Elf uh, culture. Nothing of worth in anything here. Maybe this is where they've been like putting together the fungal infection? Ooh. Can I play to woe then? Yes I can. Very nice. Nothing really of any worth around, though, for me. Oh, I didn't even see this guy over here. I oh, know, this is just a good assassinating uh, bit here, I guess. Looks like it's this way we're heading. Which is strange, because I thought we just went this way. But some style, she saw me. Even though her back was turned to me, okay. Wait, let me see. I think maybe I missed something back here. Over here somewhere? Oh yeah, she's right here. That 
Look, you in-faced brute. I have moldy bread and I'm not afraid to use it. Wait, I've seen you before. Oh, sorry about the in-face thing. Your face is really quite... I don't know. Never mind. I'm glad you're here. I was just preparing to make my escape. Should be a lot easier now. Why are you here anyway? Did Grey Sky send you? Well, that's gross. Hmm. Looks like it was stitched to the lower stalk with these striae. Oh no, it's the spores. The growth bent spores into the tower that... Never mind. I think I can help Drafter, but I need a sample of the toxin they used. Narandus is hiding in here somewhere. If you deal with him, these brutes will scatter like roaches under a lantern. Now, I can make it back to Vos on my own. You give these bastards a good drubbing, find that toxin, and meet me back at Telmora. Alright, we can do that. Yeah, now we're heading back this way, I guess. That probably explains why we didn't see any enemies first when we got in here. There was somebody else going through here already. But hey, I'll use the time to, like, get out of here quicker. <laughs> Can I, like, use this to get through here quicker? I don't know. Looks like it's probably a shortcut for afterwards, maybe. What the heck? Neither one of them were looking at me. This way, it looks like. Oh, I guess there was another one behind there, too. We are just destroying this place. Probably because they're all, like, glass cannon -y types. Oh, he's in here, huh? Hi. Imposter! You won't leave this cabin alive! Yeah, you're not that much of a fight, my friend. Oh, there's a clue over there, I guess. the heck? Notice to all research assistants, all remaining flasks of the original toxin must be relocated to the storage chamber at the rear portion of the cave. So as to keep them separate from Master Narda's new formula, please make a full accounting and report any irregularity irrelevities to your direct superior. Pride prosperity for house hello. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like that door we found earlier was in fact for uh, I guess probably some sort of storage room or something like that. It good. That's what he said. I can maybe blade a woe this guy, maybe. Nice. Take that gold, thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, 
And they absolutely just burned to death, so whatever. We got it, we got the toxin sample, nice. So the door out should be right around here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Which way do I go here? I guess forward, yeah. Is he looking forward or back? I can't tell. I think he's looking forward. Yeah. Which way do I head at this point? To the right, okay. Man, do I love poison in this game. I probably could have played a mode of that, but I just kind of didn't think about it. Yeah, too late. It's a little too late on that. Like there's anything around here for us, so uh, we can just speed on back. <laughs> oh, that was just enough to make me fall into it. Strata, some chokeweed bitters to slow the effect of the spores, but this is like binding a troll's hands with fishing twine. Did you bring the toxin sample I asked for? I can't brew an antidote without it. Perfect. I'll get to work on this right away. Oh, one other thing. Lane took off toward Vos with a handful of guardsmen. I think they mean to arrest that Gwal's ass, Sabarik. She might need your help. If you find that oath, give him a good kick in the nethers for me. If for knows how long it's going to take me to clean up my nursery. <laughs> the Sharmat. Lurking. Waiting. Curses beneath the mountain. Hear me, incarnate. Hear me. She's definitely getting some sort of, like, prophecy going with her illness going on. Interesting. Oh, you're right there. Savarik's gone. Damn that slippery bastard. We tossed his manse, the gathering house, the wharf. We turned the whole damn town upside down and nothing. He can't have just vanished. What did we miss? Of course, his black snail mercenaries have been resupplying there. That must be where he's headed. Selville Island is just east of the tower. If he manages to get away, I'll never forgive myself. It will take me too long to gather up all the town guards. 
I need you to go after him. Please, Sarah, make sure he doesn't board that ship. All right. Looks like it's a race against time, then. It's actually, like, right next to- the island's right next to us, so... <laughs> I am down on my back. Looks like we just gotta get over there and defeat him. Hello there, friends! your favorite time, pizza delivery time. On the side of murder. Oh, they're just uh, hanging out all around here, aren't they? They're kind of far out in the ocean, aren't they? Something up, Blaze. Hello there. Metal subtract. Draw the mace of fire, but I'll make sure you won't. Yeah, it's not quite working for you, buddy. Unfortunately, that's light, so I don't have any use for it. I don't think there's anything else on this island to worry about, so... Well, that wasn't too bad. I'm hoping this way will take me over to where I need to go. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it did, so... Oh, she's up. You're back. My mistress and I fared the worst. Is it over? Is Savarik slain? What a relief. With Mistress Trofa's approval, I'll send runners to nearby towns and let the people know it's safe to return. Thank you, my friend. Truly. Take this, and I believe my Mistress Trofa would like a proper word as well. Miss Sarah, this is the warrior I told you about. The one that exposed the Halali plot and struck down Savarik. Let me get a better look at you. Hmm. Your eyes are wrong, but your palms seem clean enough. I have a task for you. If you succeed, you'll earn the favor of a Telvani counselor and a treasure from my vault. Is this agreeable? In all my long years, the thought of death has rarely troubled me. But thanks to Savara, I've gained new perspective. My illness took me to the brink of the void, the tip of the side. Someday I may welcome death, but for now, steps must be taken. I find that people lead much happier lives when they don't trouble themselves with details. Now, Vardenfell is littered with Daedric shrines. Seven of these shrines contain powerful magic stones. You must find these stones and bring them to me. The task I've set before you won't be easy. These shrines lie near and far. Some are little more than piles of brickwork, while others extend deep underground. Even so, I'm confident you'll find what I'm looking for. The Stones of Cold Fire. So you're a scholar as well. I certainly wouldn't have predicted that. 
Before the tribunal showed up, we Dunmer worshipped the Daedra. They raised no small amount of havoc, but they also left us valuable gifts. Gifts like the stones. Nothing until they rest side by side. If a mage manages to wake all seven, well, let's just say their powers of persuasion are put to the test. Of course not. Why should I be? The powers of Oblivion hold no great mysteries for mages like me, and House Telvanni has no time for folklore and childish superstitions. What's the point of power left unclaimed? Plans? No, of course not. I'll leave them to their business just as I always have. I'm sure they did. You'd like an explanation, wouldn't you? Fine. You want to earn people's love. Here's the secret. Just leave them alone. Treat them like adults, even when they act like children. The rest takes care of itself. Yes. Believe me, it's a rare and wonderful thing to live under the protection of a disinterested ruler. Self-determination. It'll be all the rage in a millennium or two, I guarantee it. Now, are we finished? I need those stones. Alright, well that's interesting at least. So I guess this is a quest that would probably take us, uh... Quite around everywhere, I'm assuming. Yeah, I do see a few spots, I think. But yeah, so at this point we have five more spots to look around at, but otherwise... I think I'll probably do this quest another time, perhaps, because it's kind of a uh, one that's kind of all over the place. In any case, I think I'll probably end this video off here, and uh, next time we'll either go with... I don't know exactly what we're going with next time, actually. I do know I can do Sage of Mora or the main story quest, or we could start on like, some of the other stuff, like the public dungeons and whatnot, perhaps. I don't know. We'll figure it all out. In any case, I'll see you guys next time, so see you then.